Whew, Dave, we were up all night putting together all of that furniture. It looks amazing down there, but there was one final piece. It was a special order marked attention to you. Uh, I opened it up and it has all this weird scientific stuff in it. I don't really know what to do with it. And it looked like someone had taken out the instructions. You got any idea? Oh, you have them. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And, oh, cool. Oh, it's only two pages. This shouldn't be hard at all. So, Kobe and I will get this done right quick, Dave, and then we'll be all set. Let's see. It's a dindasaur. I wonder what that means in Swedish. They always use, like, these funny names for things. Anyway, number one. Oh, right. Okay. We take that syringe, and we use it on the mosquito and the amber. I figured that was probably what we did, but I wasn't sure. Okay. And then 135 cows. I don't know if there were that many. I know there were a lot, but uh, I hope we have enough. I hope they didn't leave out any parts. So number two, we sequence the DNA from the extraction. Okay, that makes sense. All right, number three, then we make an egg from that sequence. Okay, number four, we hatch the egg. And number five, uh, I'm not doing that. Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Think's Lab, where today we are going to be sprucing up the lab a little bit. I think it needs a little touch here and there, and uh, Dave kind of has an idea about it. He's been watching way too much Extreme Makeover, but before we get there, guys, let's start with, and there's a whole group of them together here. We've got uh, Dill Pickle, and we've got uh, Pixels here, and, and uh, the newest minion in Think's Lab are right here. Okay, enough singing there, is Starfire. You can see her comment on screen right now, and if you wanna get your own minion in Things Lab, stick around to the end of the video, and I'll tell you how. Now, let's go check and see what Dave wants, because frankly, they designed this lab, so if I fix it up, I feel like I should get his input on it and stuff, so let's go and see what he has to say. All right, Dave, what do you got for us? I mean, I think I really, really want to improve the labs a little bit, uh, add some features that we really need, and and and, and I think I'm going to bring Kobe with me, by the way, too. But anyway, what do you got? Oh, d he agrees, and I'm the man for the job. That's great. I'm going to give you one day and 11 diamond blocks for this episode of Extreme Makeover Lab Edition. Oh, man. Spend wisely and better get a move on. The clock is ticking. Well, that isn't exactly what I had in mind. I didn't expect to do this all in one day, have a limited budget and everything. You watch way too much TV, Dave. I was just going to like, I don't know, just, uh, uh, gosh, demanding. All right, Kobe, you want to go? I know exactly where we need to go if we want to shop on a budget and do this quick. Let's get going, dog. We got a long way to go. And of course, when you're trying to get all that stuff for your house, there's only one place to go, Ikea! Yes, guys, we have made it to the Ikea, and looks like we're some of the only people here. I mean, it seems pretty... well, welcome back. Seth Link is here. Uh, let's, uh, we've got Welcome to My Ikea. We have all your furnishing needs on two floors. We have one of the largest parking areas in the city. With 264 parking spots, parking here is also free. What a claim to fame. All right, let's head up the stairs here. And of course, the beginning of any IKEA visit always starts with a visit to the bathroom. <laughs> and uh, oh, wow, look at this. They've got bath, they've got, oh my goodness, they've even got cupboards. Uh, let's see, oh, there's a toilet. I'll, uh, I'll be right back, Kobe, hold on one second and ah. <laughs> oh, oh man, look at this, you sit on it, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get off of the toilet there. All done. Wait, can you flush it? No, wait. No, you can't. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I wouldn't use that one. If anybody wants to use one, use this one because, yeah, um, I didn't flush. So uh, there's the sink and the cupboard, and uh, we're out of here, Kopi. Kopi, that was the boys' bathroom. You shouldn't have been in there. All right, she's off to find her mom, probably. She's around here somewhere. And uh, there's a few other people checking out the Ikea. I mean, it's, Ikea is always a pretty crowded place, so I'm not surprised. TV's that way. You know, okay. Yeah, there, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you want to watch the TV? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a, it's got a great show on. Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay, uh, check this out. It is a clock, and it actually works, I think. Yep, if you right-click it, time is currently 79, and 
Oh, maybe he's watching that TV. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, we got an outdoor lamp here. We got table lamps and lights. And check out this sofa. I didn't even, almost didn't even notice it with the floating etho on top. But it's pretty cool. Uh, a lot better than this type of couch, actually. Um, so we'll, we'll grab a couple of those. Maybe, I don't know if we're going to keep that color. I think there are other colors I would rather have. And, oh, uh, checking out the bathroom, too, huh? Um, it's a nice tub, isn't it? Yeah. Like... I really, yeah. I, I, can we get in it? Oh, look, you can get in the tub. Nice. Taking a bath. All right. Um, and also, of course, we have um, washing machines here. The toilet, as you've already seen, and the washing machines. I'll show you that later when we get back to the lab. I got some clothes to wash anyway. Uh, so we'll grab one of those. Oh, let's head off to the kitchens here. And um, let's see. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. You checking out the kitchen? It's pretty cool, right? Hey, honey, where are you going? Oh, she, she's checking out all the animal heads. She loves those. Uh, okay, cool. We've got a dishwasher here as well. Uh, we've got cupboards. we got cabinets up here. We even have a cooker. We're going to have to grab all of this stuff. we got kitchen sink. Looks different than the bathroom one. And even a trash bin. Or, well, as I would call it, a trash bin is, you know, the English call it a rubbish bin. So, oh, and look at this, a freezer and a refrigerator, and it even has an opening and closing animation. Do you think we should get one of these for the lab, too? I mean, I think that the, uh, the minions would love this cooktop to cook more, because we're adding more and more minions every day, so I think that's probably the best idea. She wants to show me these uh, animal heads here. So, what's so special? It's an ender dragon head. Um, oh, okay, so I'm supposed to click... Oh, they make different noises. So the, the big one, the squid one obviously doesn't do anything. Dumb squid. Uh, <laughs> zombie head. <laughs> Steve head. We'll grab some of these for, for the lab. And these would be great to have on the wall. Uh, hmm. Uh oh, ooh. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, and mean wolf. And let's see who else. Oh, sheep, and there was a chicken, and there's a cow here. Almost all of the mobs, skeleton, spider, ender dragon doesn't make any noise, and back to skeleton. So that is uh, pretty cool as well. Oh, it's Notch. Okay, I've always wanted to try this. I, I'm so sorry, Notch. It is really great to meet you, but I have to. This has always been sort of a dream of mine. <laughs> Oh, look, it's true. He drops the notch apple, guys, the enchanted golden apple. Amazing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Is he going <sighs> to? Okay. I thought that <laughs> maybe if you destroy the creator of Minecraft, he turns red and explodes, uh, which would not have been very fun at all. Because, uh, yeah, that, this took me a while. Uh, let, let's head down here. Uh, oh, and we're in the painting area already. Did we see everything we wanted to? Oh, and... I guess he respawned. Uh, let's see. Is, it, is there anything over here? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, the cafeteria. Guys, it's not a day at Ikea without some meatballs. They better have some. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, $3.99 Swedish meatballs. But there's nobody to cook them. Look at this great kitchen they have, too, and there's nobody to cook meatballs. What a terrible visit to Ikea without... Some Swedish meatballs, I don't know. All right, um, let's go on back, and we're going to head down to the paintings area here. Um, and, of course, I always just breeze through this at Ikea, and there's probably the rug section. Yep, the rugs. <laughs> let's see over here what do we got. Oh, boy. This is where they're going to put all the stuff on display. And look at, oh, there are blue sofas as well, so we can get different colors. And, ooh, Christmas trees and chimneys. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with the chimneys. That is going to be perfect for the lab. I don't know. How, I don't know if this is going to cover everything. I mean, we need so much stuff. Oh, man. Oh, and the cupboards. Yeah, we're going to have to put some of these together, though. All right, let's <laughs> let's head over and pay the cashier here. And uh, let's see how much, you know, he said it was going to be 11 blocks. And OK, one thousand seven hundred eighty two dollars. It's a good thing we got those blocks. So let's go ahead and um, pay here. There we go. And our money's all gone. And we're going to head back home with all the stuff. I think they're going to deliver it because, um, you know, I can't really carry it. Uh, <laughs> not really on my back. We ordered a ton of stuff. So they're going to deliver it to the lab. And uh, we'll see how it looks at the end. And, man, did it, did it snow while we were out there? It surely did. 
didn't it? Wow, the parking lot's covered in snow. Well, we better head back. I know it's supposed to be spring, but it totally isn't. Okay, everyone, uh, let's check out the work from the Extreme Makeover. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you guys like the Christmas trees? Yeah, I, I didn't really know what to do with them. <laughs> but anyway, check this out, guys. First of all, we've got these. Look at these. And these are actually real tables. Look at that table. It's got four legs. We've got over here, we got all this stuff. Look at that. Of course, don't miss out on the epic. Check it out. I love the way this looks now with the noodle soup secret recipe sitting on the mantle there and Pixels is protecting it. Good, good minion. Make sure nobody gets to that because we don't want anyone to get the recipe. <laughs> Derby Tacos is watching it as well. Hey, Leah. All right, let's let's uh, let's go over this way. And you guys can see the lamps, the hanging lamps or lights up in the ceiling here. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's see, over here, of course, we have these little baskets. I'm not really sure what these are used for. We've got the coffee table. Check it out with the glass. Got the the uh, the corner couch. I mean, this is awesome. Look at all the chairs from the Minions, although they have not quite figured out how to use them, but we could. See, we can use them. Look, check that out. We could watch the show. It's awesome. And of course, uh, you guys can sit in these as well, the couches here. Yes, check it out. Very, very cool. Hello. I wonder if you can sit in the corner piece. Let's go check that out. In fact, you can. This is the most comfortable spot on the couch. Check me out. All right. What else do we have uh, over this way? And I don't know why Kopi is so dark. Uh, we have a little bit more in this direction. We've got more of the tables and chairs with the coffee tables in the Hello. middle. A little cafe here. And speaking of cafes... Mm, this is the exit. I'm going on the exit. I don't really care. Check out how we outfitted the kitchen and there are um, chimneys on top to uh, for the stoves and I'm going to show you guys how to use those. Let's grab some frozen chicken and some beef and pork chops. Do we have any coal? Yes, we do in the cupboard there and uh, check this out guys. Each oven or uh, stove top put in a piece of coal and you can cook two things at once. So check this out. So that's pretty cool because each one takes up only one block, but it can cook twice as much food as a furnace, although seems to be about the same speed as a furnace. Now, we've got a dishwasher over here as well, and let me grab some coal because, hey, that is the fuel source in Minecraft, even though it doesn't make sense. I mean, who would have a dishwasher that ran on coal? Seriously. Okay, so let's go ahead and put in the coal and we can wash our sword, which is kind of like a, um, I guess it's kind of like a, a, a tool or, 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 a, or a piece of silverware. And it's supposed to clean it and make it so that we have durability. So the durability goes up. I'm not sure. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, also, we have the rubbish bin and we can throw away this noodle bowl. We've already eaten from it. And what happens with these, which is really cool, and I wish it was part of a vanilla Minecraft, you could make one of these. Uh, every five minutes, the rubbish bin sort of empties its way out. Um, so it stays there just in case you threw something away. You have about five minutes and then it will empty and be gone forever. Uh, I guess you could set up a redstone contraption to do such a thing, but mm, no thanks. So the other thing that we have, guys, is over here I set up a small laundry room. It's not anything special, but we do have the washer dryer and you guys saw I had some dirty clothes. And where is our washer dryer? I think it's on the other side. Oops. Let's go this way. Sorry about that, guys, but We'll get there in a second, and the washer dryer is here. Is this the laundry room? Indeed it is, and we've got three washing machines. Uh, we can go ahead and put them all into one and wash our clothes. So you put this in here, and again, I am using this, in either using it incorrectly or it just isn't working. Maybe, you know what, maybe, maybe you do it like this. Now, <laughs> this is supposed to wash your clothes, guys, and 
There it is. Oh, look at that. There it is. It's working on these. Okay, so I didn't put enough coal in. That's the deal. So let's just put more coal in. Let's see what happens here. Maybe it just takes a long time. Let's see. How's that? Is that working? Okay, I'll be right back when it's almost done. Oh, there it went, guys. And that was the last piece to get clean. This cost a total of maybe three coal uh, to clean all of our laundry or repair <laughs> all of our diamond armor. So check it out. We've got brand new diamond armor for the cost of three measly coal. I mean, that is incredible. Uh, let's check. I uh, While I was there, I grabbed my diamond sword and threw it into the dishwasher just to... Okay, guys. Got it. Let's just take a look. And look, it is repairing this one as well. So that is the same one. You can repair four tools at once for the same cost as the coal that you're using, which is pretty awesome, guys. Um, it does take a while, uh, a lot longer than, you know, a normal furnace would. And we could, we could check on that as well. But uh, it does take longer than a regular furnace. But let's face it, free repairs for coal? I mean, just plain old coal? That is incredible. So guys, if you enjoyed this mod and you want to try it out for yourself, check the link in the description. You can download it and try it on your own Minecraft. Also, if you're looking to get your own minion in ThingsLab, all you have to do is click that like button. Let's see if we can get up to 2,500 likes. Go ahead and post in the comments below what you want your minion's name to be and whether you want it to be a boy or a girl. Also, this is your first time watching my video. Why don't you become a noodler today and subscribe? I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, noodle on!